Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. We're back with another As Seen on Television product. Today we're trying Bell and Howell's Battery Master. I told you guys we we're about to organize our life. When I saw this product and watched the infomercial, I thought, per Perfection. Now you can have all of your batteries nicely organized in one place. I loved it from the get. So there are two reasons why I picked this product up. The first one is so that we can organize our life. Everybody has a junk drawer with batteries all over the place. Number two, they challenged me. They said this thing holds up to 93 batteries. That's not the challenge. The challenge was, Vivian, do you have 93 batteries? Instead of having them all over the house, which does not say much for my professional prepping skills, today that's about to change because we're collecting all of the batteries that I'm finding and we're putting them into this cute little compartment thingy and we're gonna live our best life. And then on bug out day, batteries all in one place. You ain't running around the house already scared as hell trying to look for batteries and then you find batteries and they're dead. This thing even comes with a little thing that you can check if your battery is still good or if it's junk. Something different that the battery master did in their infomercial that is different from other infomercials is that they're trying to scare the hell out of you. At least me. When I saw this, I was like, what the hell? I was running around the house like a crazy person. I even got my fire extinguisher because that infomercial is scary. They said, listen, we're not going to be like other infomercials where they just hype up how difficult it is to do a task in your kitchen or around your house. No, they said, screw that. We're not going to show a lady burning some eggs, fucking sweating and crying on the floor. We're not going to do that. What we are going to do is take that scary ass approach, scare the hell out of them, then they'll buy it. Because the infomercial shows this. They said that the nine volt batteries, if they're touching, can cause a fire. Go look at your damn drawer right now. I know you got some nine volt batteries in that drawer. They're probably touching. And at night, spark. See, Bell and Howe, they're using that fear tactic to get you to, I'm just saying, they're probably not, they probably didn't even think about that. They're probably trying to be helpful and tell you that it could cause a fire. That's probably what they were trying to do. But you know my scary ass. I'm like, oh hell no. Get the fire extinguishers out. Get these nine volt batteries out my house. Could you imagine if you had a house fire because of a battery in a drawer? Have you ever heard of that? This is the first time in my life hearing about some shit like that. It scared the hell out of me, so I bought it. I'm like, oh, thank you, Bell and Howe, for saving my life. Man, what would I do without you? Hopefully it's worth $19.99. I'm gonna tell you in one second if I can get it out of here. And we get it out. Why don't we have any instructions on how to use the little battery meter thing, battery tester included? For $19.99, you better give me instructions. Free samples, couple batteries. Y'all better throw, oh wait, <laughs> my bad. Calm down, Vivian, calm down. Here we go. Nice. Again, just like what I told you, it's just a plastic box that opens up like this. Get some screws, still not worth $19.99, right? Ooh, look at this new little gadget I have to add to my collection. Every prepper needs to have this, okay? If you don't have one, you're an amateur and you're not gonna get your prepper certificate from me if you don't know. What the hell, this thing is worth like 99 cents. Look at it. Get out of here, y'all could at least give me, listen, for 19.99, give me some shit, right? Make this worth my while, make me go, wow. They went above and beyond, not even like a sample battery to put in here, like, hey Vivian, this is how you use it. It could have been a paper battery, just as a, display but no nothing for $19.99 give me a break just a plastic little I get we can DIY this shit right here we can I'm gonna tell you already that video is coming this will probably cost us like probably like five bucks to make I'm just saying okay so here's what the instructions say 25 triple A's 45 double A's that's a pro right there a person who has 45 AA batteries, that's a motherfucking prepping god, right? Like that's overkill. 45, 
I bet I have like a hundred. Y'all don't know about my skills. It also holds four nine volt. Those are the dangerous ones. Nine volt, the square ones. Y'all better check your house for that shit. Eight C batteries, six D batteries, and five flat batteries. Like for your watch. No, probably not for your watch. Probably for like the remote control in your car. That holds those flat batteries. Oh, did you guys notice that I'm playing one of my own videos in the back? God, Vivian. That's a dollar store Vivian tries. The infomercial says that this little bitty battery here, if it touches another battery or if it touches a coin, can get really, really hot and it could even cause a fire. Sparks, yeah. In the infomercial, what do they show you? The lady with the little wool thing, like, causing sparks. So I had to go get some wool things out of my kitchen. I think these are wool, steel wool soap pads. So we're gonna try it. That's why I have this. Cause in case I spark up some shit and I spark up my studio, I can at least try to save it with, I don't even know how, I don't even know how to work this. So it, it might just be here for display, but I had good intentions. And I wanna show you guys that I'm a prepper and I even have one of these fire extinguishers. You better go get your life right. You're not ready. You're not ready for doomsday. Y'all better be making a list. Doomsday is close. Did you got, if you're not following me on Facebook, I posted a picture of a cat that looks like a human. I'm telling you, end of days. Get right with Jesus. Things are happening in the world that are crazy. And this is just one more thing that's gonna help us stay organized and be ready for bug out day. So here is our little battery checker that just goes up here Let's take it off before i even showed it to you guys your battery collection here up here on top are the small little flat batteries and that's pretty much it we're done turn off the video we're not done but yeah number one you didn't need an infomercial for this and number two um the money you could have saved on that infomercial you could have knocked about five bucks off this thing i'm just saying how about you knock the price down that's just a suggestion for me. You know, I always make a lot of suggestions. Okay, pretty simple. We don't need directions for this. Do you think I have enough batteries to fill this up? I do. I have the expensive batteries. I have the cheap batteries. I have all kinds of batteries. I know that the cheap batteries are only gonna last you like 15 minutes, but those are backups to the backup. You know what I'm saying? Like. Last resort, you got something. Who the hell wants to be paying $12, $13, $15 for a pack of three batteries? I don't know one person who would raise their hand for that. That's why I think you should have a mixture of good and bad batteries. That may not be a good prepping plan, but I'm just saying. We're all on a budget, so I'm saying get you a combo of cheap and expensive. See, these are the cheap ones. I just couldn't pass up $1.99 for a 20 pack. Like I couldn't pass that up. Like I said, you're probably gonna run through 20 in a 24 hour period, but it was $1.99. I know it's not a good battery. Don't tell me, I know. I'm also gonna test these nine volt batteries just like they did in that infomercial because I wanna know if that's true. I'm not trying to cause a fire, but I'm prepared. I'm still not trying to cause a fire. What I'm saying is, don't try to scare me. Oh wait, I still have some more right here. Look at that. Does it not give you like tingling feelings? An eight pack of C batteries, $17.99. These are the C batteries. And this little compartment here is where you put your little flat batteries like this. The little flat batteries like that. Oh, that's too small. What the hell? What? Okay, now let's see if this one will fit. That little slot there looks a little too big for these batteries. Do you see them in there? I don't know. They're, they're going to fall out when I flip this thing up. Let's close it. Voila. What do you guys think? Oh, does this not bring you satisfaction? Oh, this thing weighs a lot. Y'all better make sure y'all put that shit on a stud. Don't be silly now. That shit fall off the wall in the middle of the night. Scare the hell out of you because you think somebody's, you know, 
trying to get you at night. Let's use this little thing on this little reading thingy machine. It says if you should replace if it's low or if it's good to go. So let's test some of these. These should be good because they're brand new. You guys just saw me open those up. Put in your battery. Okay, you gotta squeeze it hard. Okay, look, can you see it? I hope you guys can see that. It says good to go. I like this little thing. I'm probably gonna get a lot of use out of this because you know I'm gonna go through the whole house to check and see if all of the batteries in every drawer are good. Because there's no use of having 93 batteries and uh, two work. <laughs> That's really gonna suck on bug out day, you know? Check your shit every six months. Now let's try testing the national. Everybody have your cell phones in your hand. If you see a spark or a fire begins, dial 911 for me. I shouldn't be doing this, huh? Don't do this at home. This is not for children to try it to do. This is a controlled environment. I'm a professional, but do go through your drawers and pull all these little fire starters out of your drawer because who the hell knew? This is what she did in the infomercial. I'm telling you. Ready? One, two, three, go. What? I'm holding my crotch for safety reasons. Oh, it's, I can smell burning wool. Oh my God, I did not know. Nobody fucking told me, look, look. Who knew? That is so dangerous. You better go get all these damn nine volt batteries out of your drawer right now. This is some scary ass shit. Look at this. And I keep doing it. I tell you how scary it is, but I'm over here doing it. I'm gonna show you one more time. Look, do you see? Okay, that's enough of that because I'm scared. Do you know that leaving a nine volt battery in a drawer with other metal objects could be a fire hazard? Even a simple coin touching the terminals makes the battery nearly 50 degrees hotter in just minutes. Let's check the temperature of it now. What's it clocking? 94.6. Let's check one of the other ones that we haven't been messing with. Let's see what that temperature is. 86.5. Oh my God, this one is hot. All right, you guys, so here are my final thoughts on the Bell & Howe Battery Master. I think we need to organize our batteries, so I think it's a good idea, but I don't think it's worth $19.99, even with the little extra bonus battery checker. That battery checker costs y'all like 99 cents. So this whole thing should have cost me under $10. If you lower the price, I think you could sell quite a few. I'm just letting you know my opinion. Do what you wanna do, obviously. You're not gonna listen to me. Who's this girl on the internet trying to tell us how to price shit? I know, but guess what? There's this thing called the Wish app. I can probably get this for free and just pay shipping on it. So I'm just saying, if you want us to buy it from you, how about you knock down this price? Save that scary ass infomercial and invest that money into a better priced product because let me tell you, we can DIY this. We're gonna DIY it somehow, because I need like two more of these. I mean, it has the little compartments to hold the batteries separately, so that's nice. It has a nice little clear lid. I don't know why you guys installed a Ferris wheel in here for my batteries, because these little guys fall out when the Ferris wheel is going round and around. Makes no kind of damn sense. Don't know why you would do that. Also, make sure that you test this shit before you sell it because these little batteries don't fit in there. I had two sizes of these little thin batteries. Neither fit in there. So I think that would be my only complaint. Now I'd love to hear your opinion. Anything else that you think could improve this product? Leave it in the comments down below. You never know. They might listen to us. So I'm going to give the Battery Master 4 Vivian heads just because of the price. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.